Hi, this is Pete Gustinello with SaratogaWine.com and today I'll be interviewing Rick and John from Albany Distilling and going over their entire vodka lineup. Great wine. Better prices. Delivered right to your door. SaratogaWine.com Passion moves into historical discovery. Logically, those are the products that we make. You know, it's a corn-based vodka, meticulously filtered. Um, so what we search for, or what we strive for in making our vodka is to have something that is incredibly palatable. Um, you know, there's other distillers who certainly want nuance or, or kind of character to their vodka, but you know, we like the idea of making- Super clean, super, super crisp. Clean. Yeah. We're also very fortunate being in Albany is we have the alcove reservoir supplying us. So the water that we're using for it is remarkable. So that's ALB, and then um, back to barrels, you know, just having this kind of, you know, this is what we were doing. Once you, once you take a barrel and you use it, you can't use it for whiskey again. We can use it for rum. Right. But, you know, we were left with kind of this excess amount of, of whiskey barrels. And there's only so many planters you can have in your yard. <laughs> exactly. So Mike Brown and John Swedish from Deathwish Coffee had reached out to us, and they said, hey, we're, we're thinking of this really weird, crazy idea to do a barrel-aged coffee bean. We've done R&D and we drink a lot, we're distillers, but there is nothing that we spent more time on than perfecting coffee vodka. Yeah, that, because, I remember when it came out, it came out of the gates hot. It was, it was incredible. Um, and, and we really kind of landed on this idea that ALB, the, the, the vodka is really clean. So how can we stick as much coffee into this bottle and still keep it at alcohol strength, at, at, at a uh, vodka strength. 40% of this bottle is cold brew coffee. And if anyone knows anything about Death Wish, it is really highly caffeinated yeah. cold brew coffee. And then the rest of it is just, was high proof vodka. And we, come in, uh, we bring it down to a very fitting 66.6 .6 proof because, you know. Apropos for jokes. the name. Well, that's yeah. hilarious, yeah. yeah. Yep. And we, we should also mention that it is now called Awakened Spirit. It was Death Wish for a while, but that got too confusing for everybody. So I was just gonna ask you about yeah. that. So people would call us looking for the coffee, we call them looking for the vodka. Oh, it because just, it just two mean, different companies, two yes. different yeah. brands, yeah. everything else. Yeah, and, and, and I think when yeah. we started it and it was a local product, you know, like you said, it just completely exploded onto the scene in the capital district of New York. Yep. But when you're distributing that in Florida, in Illinois, the in coffee. California. Well, they started distributing coffee nationally, after, and yeah. so did we. We started bringing this coffee vodka into other states. Oh, neat! And then it just became this very challenging thing to to separate. So we said, all right, the brand needs its own identity. So we came up with well, Johnny came up with the Awakened Spirit, Wake Up, Undead, and it's still though made with Deathwish Coffee. It's still an awesome partnership with them. It just kind of now stands on its own as a makes sense. To, makes you know, absolute clear sense. You have other flavors up here. Yeah, and again, I think that came straight from customer feedback. You know, how many times do you have someone come into the distillery saying, "I really love your vodka. I really love your coffee vodka," but I drink orange vodka. And you hear that enough, you're like, all right, I guess we're going to make orange vodka. But that's also an homage to Albany. It was Fort Orange, yes. right? So yeah. it's, it kind of ties back to the history of all of this. And uh, the last of the lineup for, for now is... Well, that was actually selfish. I didn't listen to anyone. I just... Cucumber vodka is great. <laughs> so you just decided one day? <laughs> Honestly, when it's hot as hell... You have cucumber coolers. Cucumber yeah. vodka on the rocks, maybe splashing some club soda. <sighs> really easy to drink and and this thing has gone really well for us as well and it's all natural flavor so we work with a company down in uh you know towards the city that that puts together really great natural flavors and, and again the r d was was heavy on those products too now in terms of talking about it the vodka is going to sound like a bit of an anticlimax after all the tasting notes and stuff that we had with the, the but it's still the most around. popular spirit consumed and people it want is. quality in the bottle. So there's and nothing wrong with distilling vodka to make money, but it sounds like you guys put a little care and effort into it. So. Absolutely. I mean, that, and that's, I mean, and I guess it's, it's a good thing that I don't have much to say about it. It's just, it's just clean. It's easy to drink. What do you start with? That's a corn base. You get a little sweetness of the corn and being corn, it is hundred percent gluten free, yep. right? Course, All those good attributes that, mm -hmm. that folks love. Yep. Of course. It's made in New York. There are vodkas that with nuance, there's vodkas with character, but like 
we are looking to put a product You're looking in front for mixability. Of you. Yeah, we want something, we, we want people to be able to drink the vodka and just love that it's super clean, super easy to drink. Yep. So this is the orange vodka. So again, we start with that, that same very clean base and add natural orange flavoring and it really comes through nicely. Question mm -hmm. for our, our viewers. Um, the flavors that you're adding to it, are those also gluten-free or? They are, yep, it's all, all gluten-free. Gluten-free, all natural, and, and, you know, again, any, any blending thing, like distillation ha obviously has a lot to it, fermentation, we, I've, I've talked about that. But, you know, when you're adding flavor additions to spirits, like you can't just add it whenever you want, right. you can't just throw it out. time, yeah. temperature. And so there, there is a ton that goes into it to, to make the spirit look clear, you know, clear. And, and so, you know, we've messed around with a lot of different variations, but we found like... The correct ABV to add it, you know, the correct amounts, you know. Yeah, it's great for cocktails, man. Yeah. That, that is, you got a mandarin orange, you got a little nectarine, yeah. it's it's real, it's all, all the oranges. Leader for sure, yeah. 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 Cool. Up here we have the cucumber. So similar to the orange in that we start with the same ALB base and then add the delightful cucumber flavoring. I smell from here. Yeah, no, it's, it's really, it's got a very potent nose to it and yeah. then cucumber salad it's like yeah. fresh fresh mm -hmm. chopped cucumbers and it's a it's a very tight category in cucumber vodka land mm -hmm. and i've had the opportunity to try them all i don't drink that much um and this one tastes like the most natural like you actually steeped cucumbers in a distillate or muddled them if, if you had the, That's the, <laughs> the idea, type yeah. of patience to, to strain that out but it is it's it's well done Thank you. So Awakened Spirit, again, this is our collaboration with Deathwish Coffee. What's cool about this product is we partnered with a company that makes awesome coffee. Um, so we make a vodka that is incredibly neutral, incredibly passive. It's like, all right, it doesn't have much flavor. Let's let this thing shine. What's, what's really cool is your, your base is corn-based, right? So it's got inherent sweetness to it, which complements coffee. And like any of the other products that I've kind of talked about, like you... That's dangerous. Any, anyone's going to drink a product that they want to drink. That is dangerous. Right? So what we tried to do is put a product in a bottle that you can still work with. So like if someone likes cream in their coffee, add cream to the coffee. If <coughs> yeah. someone likes Espresso a Martins lot of sweet, yeah. go for it. Um, it. It just allows you to take a very easy, you know, smooth product and, and kind of make it the way you want to. Or just if you haven't tried that. this or you haven't heard about it. I would, uh, I would check out our website and uh, dig into this. This is incredible. Please, when you get a bottle, don't drink, drink too much. Yeah, because <laughs> it's going to just be very easy to drink. Especially if you're a, a coffee person and uh, you want to you know, level up your, your Starbucks or something when you get home. Uh, this, is, this is fantastic. Thank you. Click the link in the description below if you'd like to watch the entire Spotlight Review with Rick and John from Albany Distilling Company.